Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets gaming headset review video. In this video, we'll be doing a quick comparison between two very popular gaming headsets on Amazon. First on the left side, we have the Koshin Each G9000s, and then on the right side, we have the Koshin Each G2000s. Now these two headphones are sold under several different brand names, but mainly they will be under Koshin Each or Bengu. So check the link in the description because I will have links down there to each of these. First, let's start with the price. The G9000s right here on the left are currently priced Priced around $20, where the G2000s are priced around $25. Now that we've talked about the price, let's talk about the look and the design. So as you can see, very similar design. They kind of have a shiny plastic. It is pretty durable. I've been using these headphones for a long time and it does hold up and it does not scratch very easily. Both of them have LED lights in them. G2000 right here on the right, you'll have LEDs wherever these little blue slots are, as well as in the microphone. And on the, on the G9000, you will have LEDs on both of the headsets right here where you see the blue slots. You are missing the LED on the microphone though. As you can see, they both have chrome accents right here where the headphones can adjust. And then the G9000 right here also has some chrome right here. Now the earmuffs on both of these are gonna be large enough to actually fit over your ears. So these are not gonna sit on your ears, which makes them easier to wear for longer periods of time. And they also kind of isolate some of the noise around them. The G9000s though, do have a smaller headphone earmuff. So if you look at the comparison here, you can see that the G2000 is going to be probably about an inch wider right there. And that means the earmuff is also going to be wider as well. Now, when it comes to the headband, the headband is going to be almost exactly the same with a little bit of different differences in the design. And then, like I said before, the microphones look different because the G2000 has the LED. Both of the microphones are also going to articulate down so you can put it in front of your mouth and they can also go up to be hidden away if you need to eat or something like that. They can also be positioned and stay wherever you need them. As you can see, it goes all the way down and then it will lock in place automatically. Very nice design there. Both of these little mechanisms for moving the microphone feel very sturdy and very high quality. Now, in my opinion, when it comes to wearing these and how comfortable they are, the G2000 definitely wins. I like the larger size of the earmuffs. It fits very well over my ears and feels very comfortable and very comfy with how soft these earmuffs are. Both of these have very soft and very big earmuffs. And like I said, that is going to provide some blocking of outside noise so you get a better experience when you're gaming. And let's go ahead and jump into how these are when you're gaming. So the G9000s over here on the left side, they are a little bit smaller and I have found that the speakers are a little bit less powerful than the G2000s. You get less detail, and in my opinion, it just does not sound as good as the G2000s over here, which have a bigger earmuff and definitely are a little bit louder and sound better. You get more detail. You can hear footsteps, things like that if you're playing like a Call of Duty. Definitely a more enjoyable experience. Moving down to the cables here, they are both going to be just about the same kind of nylon cable, which means they both should be pretty durable and they won't tangle very easy. And then going down the cable, pretty close to the headphones though, so very easy to find and reach. They have an identical control area where you can change the volume of the audio being played through the headphones, and then you can turn on and off the microphone they also have identical little Velcro straps that are connected to the cables so that you can do some cable management. Then the connectors at the bottom are gonna be identical as well. You have a USB connector and that's what powers the LED lights. That's all that does. And then you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that is going to provide the audio into the headphones as well as the microphone out. Both of these headphones are also compatible with PS4, PC, Xbox One, Switch, and cell phones. If you're going to be using these with a computer that has separate audio in and audio out connectors, you're gonna to have to get an adapter. The G9000 does include that adapter where the G2000 does not. The adapter is not that expensive and I'll provide a link in the description to that as well. All right, so now that we've taken a closer look at the G9000 and G2000 headphones, I'll do a quick microphone comparison so you can see how the microphone sounds on both of these as well as show you what they look like when they're being worn. All right, so for the first microphone test, we'll be doing the G9000s and all the audio you're hearing is coming from the microphone located on the headsets right here. You can also see the LEDs coming through each of the earmuffs right here. And like I said before, the microphone does not have an LED on this headset. All right, so let's move on to the G2000s. 
And now I'm wearing the Genius 1000 headset and all the audio is coming through this microphone as well. Hopefully this gives you a good comparison between the microphone qualities of these two models. Now I do have the LEDs plugged in for this one and you can clearly see the light right here on the microphone as well as the lights coming through on the side of the headset. And one of the cool things about these headsets is they do have some translucent lights right here that come through that you can see on the side of your face. In my opinion, that looks really cool. All right, so now that I've done a microphone test for both of these models, and I've shown you what they look like when they're being worn, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the LEDs. All right, so like I said before, the USB connectors on both of these headsets are used only for powering the LEDs. So that can be a little bit of a weird issue if you're trying to power them while you also have the cable plugged into your Xbox controller or something like that. So the best way that I found to get around that is to simply plug them into a power bank or something like that. So as you can see, the LEDs are now on, on the G2000s, and then we'll get the G9000s going right here. All right, so now let's turn off my filming lights and we can see what these look like. Really cool, nice blue glow coming out of there. So if you're playing at night, you're gonna have a really cool glow out of here. With the G9000s over here on the left side, they are missing that microphone light, which really does stand out very well on the G2000s over here on the right. The G9000s are also missing the internal glow. So as you can see over here with the G2000s, you have that glow coming through on the inside, which looks really cool. Lots of blue light coming through everywhere right there. So if you're gonna be doing any live streaming or any recording of yourself with a webcam, the G2000s are gonna provide a little bit of blue glow for your face, which will come through very nicely on a webcam. So definitely would recommend those if you're gonna be doing live streaming. Just so you can get a quick side-by-side -side right here with the microphones. And then the other side of the earmuffs right here. So as you can see, the G2000s definitely have a lot more of the LEDs than the G9000s. All right, so that was a quick comparison between the G9000s over here on the left side and the G2000s on the right side. Now, while both of these gaming headsets are great budget gaming headsets, I would prefer the G2000s. I think they have a much better fit with the bigger earmuffs, so they're a little bit softer as well. They have better lighting with the LEDs, and I also think they have better sound quality and microphone quality. So for that $5, I think you're getting a better quality gaming headset. Now, the G9000s over here, they're not bad if you're trying to get, save as much money as possible. I just think that they have a little bit lower quality when it comes to the audio and they're not as comfortable feeling. If you have any questions about these devices, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see a more in-depth review about each of these individually, check the description because I'll have links to each of my reviews of these. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.